I am one with my glorious I am presence. And Holy Christ self, my personalities, body elemental, and new spirit. All parts of my being are in balance, harmony, and alignment. And I pull in my aura so it is fully contained within my heart diamond and Metatron's cosmic egg. I am now ready for today's message. Greetings, beloveds. I come to you joyously, as always, with the intention to uplift your spirits, to being, bring joy to your hearts, peace to your minds, and enlightenment to your souls. This is what life is meant to be, beloveds. Peace, joy, and enlightenment. All of the rest is a passing illusion that you have been taught to believe in. You have been brainwashed to accept its reality. And yet, it is no more real than the shadow that appears on a wall as you pass by. The shadow is maintained by your presence within the light. And the shadow of the illusion is maintained by the light of your being that you choose to focus upon it. Yes, beloveds, it is a choice. You do have the choice of what you choose to focus, the lighthouse of your consciousness upon, or rather the light within the lighthouse upon. I ask you to choose the most beautiful, the most joyful, the most compassionate and merciful things that exist in your world to focus your energy and your mind upon. Do not waste precious time and energy fighting evil. Rather, use that same energy and light to focus upon the solutions, the alternatives, on that which you wish to see manifest in the world. This is a very hard habit to break that of constantly dwelling upon the negative. Because everywhere you look, that is what is thrown at you. From your media, the television, the movies, the newspapers, all of them are owned by human beings that are not truly human for they have no sympathy within them, no empathy, no compassion, and no love. They are empty beings running on pure thought energy, totally designed to maintain only themselves and those with whom they are associated in existence. They have no care for you. 
They do not care in the slightest whether you live or die. This is hard to hear, beloveds, but it is an awakening that must occur within you in order for you to be truly motivated to make the hard choices to withdraw your energies from those systems, institutions, and people who are out to get rid of you. You are a stone in their path and all they do is pick you up and throw you away. So make the choice, beloveds, to look for solutions in your life to your current problems. Look for solutions that are in harmony with your deepest beliefs. Look for those jobs that will bring you joy in some measure. Learn to live with less if you find yourself requiring a job that pays a great deal of money in order to maintain a lifestyle that requires that much money, think about making a total dramatic change to that lifestyle. Do you really need that third or fourth car? Do you need so many new clothes each and every week? There are so many ways that you can cut back on your spending, beloveds, so that you can find a job that fulfills your needs. Until such time as the monetary system on this planet is completely overhauled and abundance becomes available to all. I do not wish you to wait for that moment so that you can maintain a lifestyle that uses up so much more energy and natural resources that makes it unavailable for the great majority of beings on this planet. Just because you can afford to do it does not mean it is the right thing to do. Those of you who are awakening are becoming more and more one with everyone and with all that is. And so you will begin to intuitively know what is best for all in any given situation. It is very important that you follow this path, beloved, the path that leads to oneness, because that is an eternal, universal truth. And it is the idea and the manifestations of separation that are the root causes of all the evil that exists in this world. For no one could truly harm another with the full realization that they are only harming themselves. But as long as they feel separate from that other person, 
they feel free to indulge in the most horrific tortures and evil acts that have ever been committed anywhere at any time. So let go right now, this very instant, of the idea that you are separate from the people that you hate and dislike the most. Forget right now that you are separate from those who you judge to be fat or stupid or unkind. All of those people are a part of your very being. And once you accept that totally and fully, you will stop all judgment. You will stop all hate. And you will open your heart to compassion and to mercy, which are true emanations of your divine self. This love, this mercy, this compassion is not something that you need to go outside of yourselves in order to get. These are qualities of your own true divine self. But they have been covered up, submerged, hidden away in a safe box inside of your being. And they have not been allowed to come out and to be expressed through your mouth, through your eyes, nor through your heart. But I tell you, they are there within you right now in this very moment. So take a moment to close your eyes and to go within and to feel the love that you are. Feel the compassion that you are. Remain focused on this until the feeling is strong within you. Then when the feeling is strong within you, think of a person, just one, that you hate or that you judge severely. What do you feel now towards that person? With a heart full of love and compassion, you cannot feel hate. You cannot feel judgment. You can only feel the love and compassion that you are. And so consciously and willingly send your love and compassion to that one person. This is another one of those very simple but all-powerful techniques that can bring about great transformation into your lives. So practice this with one person at a time. Start with the easiest 
or start with the hardest. The choice is up to you. Just make sure that you fill your heart with love and compassion before you even think about the person. And if filling your own heart with love and compassion is difficult, think about someone who loves you so deeply that just the thought of that person fills you with that feeling of love. If you are able to feel God's love for you, then think about God until you are filled with the feeling of love. It doesn't matter who or what you need to focus on in order to feel love. What matters is your ability to ignite this flame of love at will within your own very being. That is the first requirement before you can possibly think of giving it to another. If you are running around constantly trying to get others to love you, you are on a misguided and endless path that will never truly bring you what you desire. For the love that you desire is already within you. It is you. So become this love, beloveds, and then share it widely. Do the best you can with this technique. And if you would like, let us know how you are doing through your comments that you send to Christmas. I am of course, I of course am aware of how you are doing at all times. But it, it is good to speak about it and to share your progress with others, especially if those others can appreciate what you are doing, can acknowledge it, and can congratulate you for it, as Christmas can and will. I thank you once again for listening to these videos. I love you and I bless you always. I am Metatron.